So let's get back to our default ASPX and now we could start working. Uh, first I'm going to add, this is going to be students, okay? So I'm just going to go back into the code and just start writing. This is, I want this to be an H3. H3. Okay, and let's go back to the design and you know what? Let's do a BR right here. A break, a line break. Okay, so now we can go back to the design. Students. Oops, well, as you can see, I'm using a Macintosh and this is a VM machine, but that's fine. Okay, so let's add a. Um, let us add first name. Okay. And add a text box and uh, source. Go back to the source, and we're gonna call this txt bx student students first. Okay. Now let's add name and then hey, why the heck not? Okay. Next, so design, we're going to need to do a, a BR. Now we're going to do last, last name. Oops, sorry for the typos. And let's just add a semicolon here. Drag another text box onto there. And let's go to the source and call it T TXT. BX student students last last name. So giving IDs to your text boxes is essential as you will see later on in this tutorial. Let's go back to the design. And the next thing when you're gonna need to add is a uh, teacher's name. Okay. And for this, I'm going to use a drop down a drop down list. Okay. And again, I'm going to have to give it an ID. DDL teachers full name. Okay. Go back to the design and click on the arrow right next to the drop down list and we're going to choose a data source. A new data source. This is going to be an object data source. You know what? Right before that cancel. Let's just b rebuild the website because I put in an SXD there and I added a whole bunch of methods. So again, choose object data source, choose new data source. Again, this is going to be an object and that's the way we're going to connect to our SXD. To actually teachers object data source. Okay. And we're going to Go to the teacher's adapter, next, and, okay, finish. And which field that we're going to be displaying, select that field to display, and we're going to choose full name, and select the value, which is going to be the full name as well, and click on OK, and we are good here. And uh, the next thing is we're we're gonna add a a button, an ASP button to add it. Okay. And again, we're gonna need to give this button an ID. The button ID is btn add student. Okay, and the text is going to be add 
student. Okay, that, that's great. And this is, when we try to run this, this form, this form will not do anything because we didn't tell it to do anything yet. See, this form does nothing. Not only that, the drop down has nothing in there because we didn't add any teachers. What we need to do is get into the code behind. And what we need to do is double click on the button because this is going to happen in the button event. Okay, great. So this is this is going to all happen and once we click on the button, we want that student information to be added. So the first thing we need to do is to create a connection uh, or create uh, the adapter, the table adapter for our um, uh, in the SXD to the teacher's table adapter. So the way we do it is we write dim actually data set one table adapters dot student table adapter okay and then we're gonna say stu student table adapter students adapter dot insert and we open a parentheses and we need to give the first name a string last name a string teacher as string and as integer as you can see is the is gonna we don't need to give the ID because the ID will be added automatically so the first name is for as we start writing first name equals okay txt bx students txt bx students first name that text and that's very important okay then we do a comma and we'll do last name equals txt bx last name students last name dot text okay comma space teacher and right away added the teacher teacher equals ddl teachers full name dot text okay and then we can close up the parentheses and now when we run this we should be able to add a student okay you know what before I even run this I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna add a label I'm gonna add a label space to confirm that the student was able uh, was added and this is label again lbl student added okay and I'm gonna take out the text text value out and I'm gonna go back to the VB of this page and there it is let me just drag it over here so it'll be simpler and right after that I'm gonna say I'm gonna say l B L student added that text equals in double quotes exclamation marks to make sure that this to give a confirmation that this went smoothly. So let's run this. Okay. First name Baruch, last name Cyper teacher we can't choose yet because there are no teachers remember this is a drop down of all the teachers when haven't added any so we will be able to modify this later on modify this student later on so let's click on add student and see what happens yes student added successfully that's great and the way we do it we just double click on the database database MDF and let's take a look at the students right click show table data Okay, so we see that one record, student ID is one, Baruch Cyper teacher is nothing. But there's a difference between null and nothing. Something was added, it was just nothing. And now there's a difference between that and we may get to that once upon a while. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part three where we're going to add a form for teachers.